What is going on everyone, this is your boy Mads, bringing you another video. Today we got Skyjack, the hijacked remake in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, the new DLC, number one. Obviously, I'm not trying to run out of the combat zone, but if you guys know, Hijacked is a map, uh, it's based on a boat from Black Ops 2, and they basically brought it back, and now it's on a, uh, not really a boat, more so a, uh, just a police, a police mothership, as you can tell. So, it does feel like Hijack, the original one, we got the hot tub area, but it's not really a hot tub, it's just a revamped, it's a revamped Hijack, that's why, like, this is the third map I'm playing out of the DLC, I'm just playing them by whatever comes up in the thing I'm not, like, picking. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys some wall running spots, as you can tell, just, my favorite part is that you can actually wall run outside the map, they don't have it where it's, like, restricted to do that, they don't have it where it's restricted to, like, jump on top of anything, most of the time. I'm actually liking that. It's a pretty free range map. It's not one of my favorites, but it's up there just because it is from Black Ops 2. And you always love map remakes and new games, no matter what it is. Even if it's, if this was a Black Ops 1 map, like WMD or something, I would still love this because it just brings back memories of playing it. Uh, Hijacked was never one of my favorite maps, but it does get voted a lot. Like, I was in the lobby and this game got voted, like, eight, eight people voted it out of 12, so that's not bad. And, the other map didn't even get any votes or anything. So just all the people that voted voted for this. So it's kind of obvious that this is by far one of the uh, the more favorite ones. And I think this is the one that everyone was looking forward to. Me personally, I was looking forward to Splash and Gauntlet. But Hijacked or Skyjacked. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. I'm just used to saying the actual one for no particular reason at all. Because it's just so talked about. So we got these. As you can tell, it looks really different. But at the same time, it feels the same. Like, if, like you got the spawns back there. Like the still same good old spawns where people are just running out you can get those kills easy so still the same spawns I'm liking this snipers will probably like this because this is a map that a lot of snipers hit clips on like trust me hijacked was by far one of the most hit clips maps I'm not, I don't know I'm not, I don't speak sniper but it was one of the maps that everyone hit a lot of clips on for sure and I'm sure a lot of people will do that probably I'm sure a lot of people already have like an episode coming out with just skyjacked already and it's kind of crazy because this map actually comes up a lot. Like, out of all the other maps, they kind of push this map, it feels like. Because, like, in any lobby I'll be in, this will be one of the maps that pops up in the rotation, no matter what. It's kind of confusing why, but it's still, whatever, it's a pretty fun map, no matter what. So, I like it. I like the area. It's really dynamic. I kind of wish the B flag was underground, so there'd be more underground basement type warfare and not just like all above ground because underground i mean down here gets kind of ignored but it is whatever it is what it is but that's why i like it i kind of wish you didn't get like out of combat zone but down here this is one of my favorite because there's a giant hole in the ship and you can just fly through and jump in and then you can easily jump back out is there a guy right there there was almost got that kill right away still almost did i don't know this is not by far one of my good maps like even when i did play this off camera because it's one of the maps that are always in the rotation when I'm just sitting here playing for fun, like editing or something. This is by far one of the maps that are always in the rotation, so just got lagged right there. But this is not my good map. Like, I'm really bad at this map, guys. You have no idea. And the other map, like, as you can tell from all the previous videos, the other maps I was amazing in. This, not so much. And that's because in actual hijacked, I wasn't the best either. But I'm still decently good. Like, I'm in top three then again my team doesn't have like any kills I don't know what's going on back here but the sides of the map are still pretty cool um, like they're pretty big honestly like this is exactly a good remake I like it it's a good demonstration of what they can do I'm hoping what's gonna happen is that every single map pack they bring back a, uh, a new map and that would be actually really cool to see um, I don't know what maps I'd actually like obviously they already brought back Newtown they brought back hijack it's a matter of what is it going to be. I'm I'm honestly like excited to see if they actually do that. I'm hoping every map they at least bring back one map from Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. Since they did Black Ops 2 for this one, I'm hoping Black Ops 1 is the next thing they'll bring back. So they'll bring a map back from Black Ops 1. I wonder what map they'll bring back though. There are so many good ones. Maybe Summit. Honestly, Summit was such a good one. I think they need to bring it back. Because they brought that back for Black Ops 2 and it was, I'm almost positive. Yeah, they brought it back in Black Ops 2 and it was in the DLC. So why not Black Ops 3? Summit would be by far one of my favorite maps that... I don't know, it's just one of those maps that are really fun to play, especially like Michael Myers. That was one of those hyped up game modes to play it on in private match with your friends, jump in the little... the little thing... the off the map. I'm not even thinking right now, but... 
you guys know what I'm talking about, the little transit thing. And, uh, yeah, that'd be kind of fun to bring back. There's so many maps that they can bring back that would be so good. I'm still hoping, just like they did for Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 1. I'm getting my Black Ops mixed up. But just like they did for a previous Black Ops, they, uh, they bring back four Zombies maps, or they bring back a couple Zombies maps from other Black Ops. So... They did bring back all the World at War maps. I'm almost, yeah, I think it was Black Ops 2. They brought back all the World at War maps, which is honestly amazing. Like, they need to do that again, but instead with Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 maps. And I feel like they're going to do that. I feel like they'll bring back Kingdom Dertoten. And, like, the final DLC is always the best one. Because it's obviously it's the final DLC. They have to go big. And I feel like they're going to bring back Kino for sure. Maybe they'll just pick four Zombies maps that are pretty amazing and then throw in one brand new one. So I'm sure they'll bring back, like, Kino Dertoten. That was a really good one. That was my favorite one. Maybe Five. Maybe Shangri-La. I don't know. They have so much opportunities to bring back stuff. Like some World at War maps. Maybe one World at War map. One Black Ops 2 map. And two Black Ops 1 maps. Who knows? Who knows? They have so much they can potentially do with this game. It's pretty cool. I'm actually, like, excited to see what's going to happen. That That's why Black Ops 3... That's why I went all out for Black Ops 3. I got the Black Ops 3 PlayStation 4, all that other good stuff. That's the reason why you gotta go out, because I want this to be the Call of Duty that I completely max out. And by completely max out, I mean just there's literally nothing I can do anymore. So I want to hit max prestige on Zombie. I have until next November, basically. Until, I don't know, I have like a whole year still to actually max out this Call of Duty by hitting max prestige on Zombies. <clears throat> level 1000 on here that's that would take forever but level 1000 on here beating campaign on like all the difficulties getting a lot of the achievements or all the achievements getting all the challenges basically completely maxing out the game where it looks like it was modded like where it literally looks like it was an owner's account or something like a game devs account because obviously I'm assuming like David Vondahart has like a hacked account maybe if he plays this game just with everything and I'm sure that's what I want like dark matter that'd be cool diamond on all the weapons gold on all the weapons I think that would honestly be really cool to have and that's why I want to go all out for this game so I, it kind of sucks I had to wait till Christmas to get it because like I was a little bit late to the party because I had it on the Xbox 360 but I don't want to max it out on the Xbox 360 I mean I, I thought about it I was like why max it out on the Xbox 360 if I'm getting a PS4 edition of Black Ops 3 it's like I might as well max out on the, the console that actually has it and is dedicated to it. Plus, I get DLC first on here, which is something fun. Obviously, I would be on Xbox right now if DLC was first on there, but it isn't. So, for all my Xbox friends, viewers, all those watching, you guys still have to just bask in our glory for now. But, honestly, I want to max out this game. This is by far one of the games I want to max out. Just I have not really maxed out a Call of Duty. I haven't hit max prestige on any COD. I'm almost positive I haven't. Like, I've played COD forever. And I don't think I've hit max prestige on any Call of Duty. Like, on Modern Warfare 2, it was modded. I got in a modded lobby or whatever. Um, Modern Warfare 3, they just kept adding on prestiges, and they gave you prestige 30, and it's like, oh, God. And there's just so much, but I want to actually max out this Call of Duty. That'd be really fun to do so. And I'm excited to try to do that. I have, I have a pretty long while to go. Obviously, I'm only prestige 1. If I play just a little bit every day, I can get there. And then I think what I'm going to do is after I prestige a little bit, hop on zombies and literally just grind out zombies. Like play zombies every day for a little bit just to level up. Or maybe only on double XP weekends, play multiplayer. Because zombies is really hard to level up. Like it's harder to level up than multiplayer. So I think what I'll probably do is try to level up maybe one time a day on zombies from just non double XP. And then when it is double XP... Play a couple matches of the multiplayer, go play a couple matches of zombies, switch back and forth. You gotta you gotta do that just so then it equals out. And besides, if there's a lot of double XP, then I'll probably get it pretty soon. And I feel like there's gonna be some soon. Maybe just for fun or next DLC. Like they should have had double XP for this DLC. That makes sense because you know people are still getting it. I mean, it's in the normal rotation, so I'm assuming that if someone is in the game and they don't have the DLC, they're gonna have to leave the game, which sucks for them I guess I bought the season pass so I obviously I bought the season pass for uh, not for every black ops but I did buy all the map packs for every black ops so black ops 1 I didn't buy the season pass black ops 2 I bought the season pass I'm pretty sure advanced warfare no I think advanced warfare was the one game I bought the season pass for for the first time 
Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, I bought every map. I don't know. Black Ops is by far one of the best Call of Duties. Modern Warfare is up there, but Black Ops will always hold, like, the crown of it just because they make really good games, Treyarch. Like, honestly, like, insanely good games. Like, they're pretty good. Same with Activision. Activision and Treyarch, they make pretty good Call of Duties. This is by far. I think this will be the Call of Duty that will go down in history. Then again, it is the first COD that is on uh, exclusively first for PlayStation, so that's why it will go down in history because this is the COD that PlayStation signed with Black Ops or Call of Duty signed with PlayStation instead of Xbox. It was a big thing. I remember watching it on whatever, a live stream or whatever. I was like, so crazy. I, I should have grabbed that. I'm being too nice. Because I remember that happened and literally Twitter broke down. So there's so much that can happen on this game. I feel like the next DLCs are only going to get better. I'm very pleased with this DLC. Like, I am happy that this is how it came out. Like, they did a great job on this. I applaud them. And, uh, I don't know, I personally really like this. This is one of the cool DLCs. Like, they have, actually have a lot of DLCs in every Black Ops. Well, only four DLCs, but out of all of them, this is probably one of the cooler ones out of all the Black Ops. So out of eight DLCs... It's probably the cooler one, just from the previous Black Ops, not including these four. I don't know, it's, this is pretty cool. I like it so far. I always I always go all out for COD because then again, it is like the only game I can play like that doesn't get boring. Like It might get boring, but it's not the same thing every game. Like Minecraft, I can play like 24-7. Black Ops, I can, or any Call of Duty, I can play 24-7. Then there's games that like I cannot play 24-7, like Uncharted, Batman, just because like I need something new. I need a change. And this is why I like playing this game. It's pretty fun. I like it. If you guys are watching this video and you don't have Black Ops, you should buy it. I don't know what you're doing. Of course, I get it right like right when the game's about to end. Right there. Anyway, 38 and 22, one of the more games I've gotten better kills in. We actually lost this game. We barely lost it, but as you can tell, no ladders. You just jumped down and who knows what that guy was doing. He wasn't even looking at them. But this was Skyjacked. The hijacked remake from Black Ops 2. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. If you have not already, this has been your Bowman, and I'm out. Peace.